It is fair to say that almost anybody who loved technology loved Steve Jobs. For millions of tech and design lovers worldwide, his death is mourned as a real personal loss. Steve Jobs was a fighter. He beat almost all odds until last night when cancer sadly won. He was born to parents who would soon give him up for adoption and as a teenager he would start the Apple computer company with a friend from his father's garage. Years later he'd be forced out of the successful company. It is likely that in both scenarios the actors would soon find out what a treasure they had taken for granted. On the home front he was later to be adopted into a caring family. Professionally, he returned for a second stint at Apple, during which it grew into the most valuable technology company in the world with a market value of 351 billion US dollars. Almost all that wealth was created since Jobs' return. It's become the number one portable game player in the world. Steve Jobs brought us a piece of the future and at many times made us wonder how at all we survived before the iPod, iPhone or iMac existed. All the while having serious health problems, Jobs rolled out one to die for product after another. In 2001, he launched the iPod which offers 1000 songs in your pocket through another Apple invention, iTunes, an online music store. In 2007 came the touchscreen iPhone, joined years later by Apple's App Store, where developers could sell iPhone apps, which made the phone a device not just for making calls, but also for managing money, editing photos, playing games, and social networking. And in 2010, Jobs introduced the iPad, a tablet-sized all-touch computer that took off even though market analysts said no one really needed one. Tributes poured in from around the world, led by U.S. President Barack Obama, who mourned the loss of a great American inventor. The Kenyan government also sent a message of condolence to his family. Steve took more time out this January in another round of medical leave. But somehow, when he did so this time, and then later resigned as CEO, many agreed there was a disconcerting ring of finality to it. I'm really pleased to report that last week, we sold our four billion song. Isn't that great? Our worst fears would be confirmed in a simple press statement from Apple announcing his death without giving a specific cause. He was 56. And by marketing inventions such as the iPad brought about by Apple, Steve Jobs literally brought technology to the palm of our hands. For KTN Prime, I'm Anne Kikuta.